there's someone who promised to give you money and, and then but it's not giving you yes it's true that huh? it's true that and uh, you're questioning why people promise you things that they can't do yes many people they promise this but thing, they can't do it this thing is affecting your spirit it's really affecting your spirit jesus name you are blessed Yes, my name is Lighton Mzwendiwa. Uh, the prophecy that I received today is true. Yes, because there are many people who have been promising to help me. There are many, but when they promise, they don't come back to me. So really, it was now worrying me to what's really going on. Yes. And spiritually, how did it affect you? I, I was worried and even to pray, it was now difficult. Yes. And today, by the grace of God, the man of God spoke to you. When he picked you and he prayed for you at that particular moment, how did you feel? I felt blessed and I knew that my past is over. Now the new beginning is starting. Yes. I believe in life there is a time where you are promised things and you come to a level where you lose hope. You don't even want to hear about those things. And today I believe God has used the man of God to be a mouth vessel unto your life to, to restore that hope again that still... God's word are still standing. Are you, are you, are you, is your hope restored? Yes, my hope is restored. Now I believe that really God is aware of my situation. Yes. Words of encouragement to other people out there who are in churches and they feel like where I am, things are not working out. As you hold it on unto God, what can you say to other people out there? I just want to say they must keep on holding because the, uh, God's time is the best time. Yes, they must wait for God's time and they will bless it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. This year is a great year for you. You hear me? Jesus. Thank uh, you, Jesus. There's a money that is coming that will make you to move from where you are staying. Thank you, Jesus. Because that is your wish. You want Thank to, you. Uh, you were speaking with this one. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Yes. You were saying you want to move out from this house. That is true. If did. God blesses you, it will happen. You, so you're blessed. My name is uh, Bernard Lerodi, and I'm, I'm staying in Hospital of Utah Visa right now. And then the prophecy that I've received today from my father-in-law, he makes me very much happy. I'm very much happy about prophecy because I've been waiting for that prophecy for a long time. And it's the prophecy for money that I've been waiting for for a long time. Yes. Is it true that you wanted to move out of your house? Yeah, that is true. I, co I confess that, that that is true. I want to move out from that house. We want to put another house, me and my wife. Yeah. And they spoke about the money that is coming. Were you aware that there is money that is coming your way? Yes, I'm aware about that money. That money is supposed to come uh, maybe two years ago. Mm. So there's a big delay on that money. So now today, because now God said to me, Everything is, 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 is okay. It's my great year. So I'm happy about that because if God says it's, 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 it's my great year, I know that that money is going to come no matter what. Because if Jesus says yes, no one can say no. As I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you today, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to other people out there? As you have hold it on unto God, what can you say to them? So what I can say to, to the viewers right now at home, whatever they are, they must just hold on to God and they must pray very hard and they must, they, they must humble themselves into God and they must trust God and they must pray and then they will get answers. Where is your husband? Huh? Can you just come in? Can you see there's a spirit that is attacking this marriage? Yes. Eh? Yes. So you people are arguing a lot. Yes, it's eh? true. It's true. And um, you are worrying about what is happening to your wife now. Yes. Eh? Yes. yes. Well, you know her; she's a very calm person. Yes, it's but true. But now you are beginning to say arguing, arguing without a lot, a eh? lot, a lot. And this makes you to keep quiet. Yes. Eh? Yes, man of God. So. This spirit must leave. Can you just put a mic? Uh, my name is Petrina 
Namalumane. I'm from here, Winna Mandela. The prophecy is true. Uh, Apostle said, uh, I have started to change in the house, and uh, my husband is surprised about my behavior. So, is that a true? Tell, the man of God spoke about you being a very humble person, and lately you have been arguing over small things. And how was it really affecting you? Because personally, you know that I'm like this, but when small things that you just blow up, how is it affecting you? It was affecting me very much because. I will just feel anger in me. I will just feel like I can just go away of the house, just leave my husband and be alone. And uh, it was affecting me because after my actions, I will feel very bad. And today, by the grace of God, the man of God spoke to you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very happy because I'm delivered and uh, I hope that I'm back to normal. Yeah. Words of encouragement to other women out there who are condemning themselves. What can you say to them as I believe that the Almighty God has delivered you today? What I can say to other women out there is that uh, they must respect their husbands, remain humble, they must come to church. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hearing the issue of Failing to breathe. Failing to breathe. Yes. Uh, yes, eh? yes. Uh, it's like your heart will start to beat very fast. Yes. And uh, from there you have a problem here. Yes. Eh? True. <coughs> touch your chest. Touch your chest. Vomit this thing. Vomit this thing. Put her down to vomit. She will vomit. Out! Vomit. Vomit the thing. Lift him up. Vomit it. My name is Francina Nkosi. I'm from <coughs> I'm from Ivory too. The prophet it's true. Why are you saying it's true? It's true because even in the morning I was about to fall because I was blocked, failed to breathe. Even if before he come to pray for me, <coughs> I fail to pray, to breathe. And how are you feeling right now? <coughs> I'm feeling all right now. Yes. And did you try to go to the doctor? I did two weeks back. I go and test for TB because I was coughing, but there was nothing. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto you and you've seen that whatsoever that you were coming across in your life was a spiritual issue? Yes, I'm, I'm feeling fine now. Yes. I once told you about not coming out. You remember? I was talking about not coming out. I don't remember. You don't remember? I'm yes. saying not coming out. I'm still saying the same. I was saying there was some pressures you were going through. Yes, yes. You remember? Yes. And I say, don't come out. You remember that? I think so. Huh? Yes. Because there were some people who were causing problems. Yes. Eh? Yes. And I told you about this person is your father. Yes. You remember? Yes. Eh? Yes. Come here, let me pray for you because you are worrying about finances now. Yes. Eh? Yes. Put a mic in your mouth. Pray. Uh, my name is Ngadego. I stay right here in Tembisa. Daddy spoke to me about uh, the issue with my father-in-law because there were issues uh, back then concerning the people who were bothering me, which were my sisters-in-law. So he was just telling me again that I should take him as my father no matter what. Yes. And how was it affecting you? It was affecting me very, very, very bad. <laughs> Even spiritually, I couldn't even pray because they really hated me for no reason. Like, they felt as if I'm stealing their father from them, which is not true. Yes. And today, as the man of God has spoken unto you for the second time regarding one thing, how are you feeling? 
I feel better believing that this will come to pass and it has given me the strength to love him more and also to do what that is telling me to do, to take him as my own father. Yes. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that as you got strength from God, you shall succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. This lady is having demon. You, you are possessed. You are, you, you've got a demon that visits you in the night when you're asleep. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. And uh, this demon now is really affecting your blood now. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. And uh, this demon doesn't want you to marry. He doesn't want you to marry. I'm married, man of God. I know, you are married. Where is the husband? With bank. Huh? Tweet bank. The demon doesn't want you to marry. Very soon, people, you are fighting. You are... There's a lot of stories. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. And that's the reason why I'm telling you what you are facing now is caused by this demon. Thank you, man of God. And unless you are delivered, this demon will always come. Always yes. come. There was a time you were bleeding. Yes, man of huh? God. You remember the time you were bleeding? Yes, man of God. Caused by this spirit. You demon. You are living, my sister. Come on. You demon. Come on. You are living, my sister. You are living a marriage. That demon must leave you. Come on. Out. My sister, come on. In the name of Jesus. Ouch. What are you doing to him? Huh? Can you just come here? I'm come from Swaziland. The prophets prophesied to me the truth. Uh, I sometimes bleeding, not stopping, and I don't know where the bleeding comes from. And we have problems and challenges in my marriage with my husband. We don't understand each other. Sometimes we separate, sometimes we come back, and lots of issues began. And how is it affecting you? It's affecting me, my marriage, and my health. Yes. Did you go to the doctor regarding your health? No. And today as the man of God has spoken unto your life, how are you feeling? I feel delivered and I feel so happy that he delivered me, he helped me so much. Thank you. Thank you. Where is your husband? I'm not married. Say I'm disappointed. I'm but disappointed. Dis say, say I'm disappointed because someone disappointed you. Yeah, I was huh? married in. You were married. Yeah. And someone disappointed you, and even now, you don't trust any man. It's true. Huh? When people come to you, they want to marry you. You look at them. You remember the pain you went through. You were disappointed. That's true. Don't say you're not married. You're divorced. You're free. Okay, my name is Lerato Tomamabolo. Um, the prophecy that I received was true, and um, it's a prophecy regarding marriage. And I um, actually said that I wasn't married, but I'm actually divorced. I was married in 2014 and separated last year. So, the man of God said, no, you actually have been disappointed. You've not, um, you're not single or not married. So, the prophecy was true. And how did it affect you? What, well, the prof okay, okay, no, 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 not really. I wasn't, um, I've, I've, it was a long term thing. It happened, problems came in for a long time. I'm um, starting from 2015, so it has been um, very worrying. So I grew in the pain and I ended up being fine about it. So I'm actually very fine about it, but I'm not sure. Like I'm saying, 
like he said, like um, the man of God said, um, I'm struggling to love or to trust anybody. So I've been struggling with that. And that's just that, yeah. And how are you feeling as the man of God has spoken unto your life? Um, he has spoken into my life and he said I'm free. So I, I'm hoping that I would um, not block out any love or um, emotion that I would have. And I'm going forth hoping for the best. So, yeah. Words of encouragement to other women out there who have been through the same very thing that you've came across in life. And today I believe that hope has been restored unto your life. What can you say to them? Um, all I can say is that believe in God and um, ask God before doing things. Sometimes um, you do things that you're not aware of. Um, thinking it's marriage bless, I mean, it's a blessing from God, but sometimes it's just tests and stuff that you don't know, and there's stuff that we we don't deal with, we don't get delivered before getting married. We, we we're dealing with spiritual husbands, so just get yourself checked, get a good man of God to see you through, and just as good spiritual father, and as well just pray about things before doing them, especially marriage, you know, so you don't come into relationship with soul ties and stuff like that. So this is a very important thing because we go into marriages. Um, we didn't pray about and we have soul ties from our previous mar um, boyfriends or whatever and we bring it forth into our um, marriages and which is very disturbing so that is my advice to women rather yeah you do my sister who is your wife oh, touch your stomach this thing is over amen because you've been complaining about this. Amen. Eh? Amen. So if you go to the doctor, we'll tell you many things. Yes. Amen. You understand? Amen. So it's over, you're free. Praise the Lord Jesus. Okay, you're free. Good evening. Good evening, people of God. My name is P.S. Chris. I'm coming from Pretoria. I'm standing with my wife. Her name is called Charity. I confess the word of prophecy that came from the man of God that my, my, wife, my wife here has been experiencing a lot of discomfort in her tummy. But I want to thank God for what has happened today. We have been located by the man of God and we give God all the glory. Amen. And what was really happening to you? Um, at first, I went to the doctors. They told me that I've got ulcers. So time and time, I used to feel like discomfort in my stomach. So as the men of God have said that I'm delivered. And how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. How are you feeling right now? Oh, we give God all the glory. All the glory to Jesus. Oh. We give glory to Jesus for love to believe that she is held and you are delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Stay. Amen. Amen. What is happening here? My sister. This is my sister. Zambia. This is Zambia. Yes. She's From September like last year, she's like this. She's sick like this. She's sick like this. The doctor have tried to check for cancer. They couldn't see cancer. From, from, from Zambia. From last year. From last year, September. September. Yes. Yeah, you know, God is healing her. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Take that picture from him. Lift him up. He's delivered. What I do to him? Uh, what I do to him? Speak up. Why are you blocking him? Speak. Why are you blocking him? Huh? Why are you blocking him? You spirit of death. Out! Jesus. You are free. Say, so can you please introduce yourself to us and also tell us uh, when the man of God was praying for people, you went out and you showed him the picture and what is going on? Uh, actually, my name is Pastor Kennedy. I'm from Zambia. I have a church in Durban. So when the man of God was praying about me, it was regarding my sister in Zambia, who has been sick from last year, September. It started as a small lump in one of the breasts. So that lump was growing and growing. 
they tried to check for cancer, the results were negative. They went for another cancer test where they took part of her skin. So they were testing that, but uh, that skin disappeared and the test disappeared as well. Yes. Where did she go in search of help? What, what has she been through in order for her to get help? She's been through so much. Uh, I come from a family that don't believe so much in God. So they tried to go to different witch doctors for help. Uh, I believe when I phoned them, because I'm staying here, they're saying there are different pastors that are going to pray for them. But at faith, I believe that when I came to Charis Church, God was going to locate the issue and uh, God was going to heal her. When the man of God located you, how did you feel? I felt so good because before I came, it was my prayer that today the man of God was going to locate, locate me. Amen. And by the power and the grace of God, the man of God prayed for your sister. What do you believe that it is starting to happen right now? Right now, I believe that my sister is healed because I believe in the grace that is upon the man of God. I believe in the grace that is at Charis Missionary Church. And I believe without any shadow of doubt that my sister in Zambia is healed. And I'm looking forward to coming back to give a testimony in this church. Amen. And, and please tell us about you personally as a minister of God. You believe in healing and while these things are happening in your family and those who know that you're a servant of God, eventually that so also questioning your calling. How did it affect you personally? It has affected me so much uh, because I'm the only pastor in, the, in the, my family. So it has been affecting me. But I believe that uh, there are people that God has given so much grace, like Apostle Makananisa. So I just believe that when I came here, he has so much of grace and God was going to use him to heal my sister. And I believe that my faith is also uh, enlarged to an extent that I'm believing that God is going to use me also in healing and deliverance ministry. Amen. As I believe that you believe that distance is not a barrier. You came with a picture believing that wherever your sister is, she's going to be held. What can you say to other people out there who cannot manage to come here, but they have their loved ones who are sick? What can you say to them? Yeah, my encouragement to them is that uh, just believe in God and locate a house where the grace of healing and deliverance is. That's what I did myself. I left Deben believing with this picture that the man of God was going to locate me. And I know that distance is not a barrier. She is in Zambia, but I know she's healed. So I want to encourage people that they must locate the house of grace for their healing and deliverance. Amen. I'm just hearing a name now called Freddy. And I heard that there was a car that was stolen. And what happened? Can you just come out if your name is Freddy? Can you tell me about why I'm hearing about the issue of a car? Uh, where I was working in uh, Big Falls in Zimbabwe, working for my brother. Yeah. So my brother started accusing me for stealing for him. And I've got a car that I bought. So he's now saying he's, he's, it was bought with his money. I'm hearing about Freddy, I'm hearing about the issue of the car, and the issue of stealing. So it means it's you. Uh, I'm praying for you so that God, you and your brother will have peace in Jesus' name. Amen. You will have peace in Jesus' name. Amen. But I wanted to tell you, there's a life you need to stop. You hear me? Yes. Yeah, there's a life you need to stop. The, there's, there's a character you're having that the family now they know. And people are beginning to know that you're not living right. I don't understand. You know him? Huh? It's, my, it's my young brother. It's your younger brother? Yes. He's staying with me now. Huh? He's staying with me now. There's some things that you people are suspecting this boy. That Amen. Is, that is not living right. Amen. What is that? <laughs> Uh, from what I've heard, uh, we, when he was in Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, yeah. they were saying he was now drinking and also... We need to ask him, him, is it true? Yeah, when I was stressed, I would drink and smoke sometimes. And then here, yeah, you were groomed up in the right way. Yes. Eh? So you need to repair. God loves you. Thank you. If you can confess, God will forgive you. Thank you, Jesus. And there's a thing, you need to tell your brother everything. You hear me? Yes. You need to tell your brother everything. Because there's too much problems around you. Because there was a time you wanted to go alone, away. Yes. Eh? Yes. And you say you want to live your own life alone. Yes. Eh? Yes. Have you seen that this thing nearly destroys your life? Yes. Eh? 
Yes. So God loves you. I'm sure you are repenting, isn't it? Yes. I'm not praying for you. You are free. Yes, my name is Frederick Zimbani. I'm from Zimbabwe. I came recently when I visited my brother looking for a job here. Yeah? And uh, when, the prof when the prophet, man of God, called me today, he called me by my name, Frederick, which was something that, was, was, which was something that shocked me very well. So um, what he said is actually confirmation of the right truth of what happened. Because uh, I was actually working for my brother in, uh, in Vic Falls in Zimbabwe and uh, they were had a disagreement together. So what happened was like um, he was saying that I was now stealing for him and um, now we had an issue of a disagreement in terms of the car. So now he was nice saying that he wanted to seize the car into his own position. So now I refused Then I said like no I'm not going to give you till we agreed that I have to move away from Vic Falls which is an unsettled issue but in as though we said uh, it's an issue that was solved but to me I actually noticed that it's something that is we still have grievances up amongst ourselves so actually when you actually confirmation of something that I used to do in terms of the character it confirms that um, I was someone that was always feeling stagnation in life and I feel like um, I needed more to life because I went to school and I wasn't getting any job and I felt like I needed to be somewhere and I needed to be at a certain level. So the more I get stressed even in terms of my problems, I would go out and drink with certain people, then I would go home, I would be trying to fight every spirit that I was having. but. I would continue doing it too. I end up leaving everything. Then I go, went back home and they're like, yes. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto you? Well, right now I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling as if like, I'm feeling delivered that my problems are gone. God loves me, as the prophet said. And I know that there's a reason why God um, showed the man of God and my, my problems it was revealed. Because when I came here, the, problem, the thing that I was doing was just praying that for the Lord to locate my situation as I'm in this place. And I knew that there is God's favor and God's favor is bestowed upon my life. Yes. My brother from Spex, where do you come from? This one. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes. You, you have never been in Pumalanga? No. Eh? No. Nobody told you about going to do crusade in Pumalanga? There's someone. Eh? There's someone. So, someone said go and do crusade in Pumalanga. Don't go now. Just pray. God will guide you in Jesus' name. Eh? Amen. Just pray about it. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, my name is Pastor um, Toby Shabango. I'm from Switzerland. And I confess the prophecy that is true, what the man of God has told me. That uh, uh, there's someone who told me that I must go to do a crusade in Bumalang, the place called Lazacha. Yes, it's true. What was really happening before the man of God confirmed it to you? Yeah, I was thinking to go there to do the crusade. Yes. And how are you feeling that today the man of God has spoken unto your life regarding what you're about to do? No, I feel happy today because the man of God has spoke about it and he said I must pray so that God will direct me. Yes, I thank you very much. As I believe that God has given you direction and as God has spoken about it, I believe that where you are going, God shall prosper you. What can you say to other servants of God out there? What I can say to the other servants out there is that they must believe in God and they must believe in this grace here at Charis and they must believe to the man of God, Apostle. That is a true man of God. Whatever he speak, it happened. So I thank very much and I, I encourage them to come and to receive unto this grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Can you wave your hand like this? Say thank you Holy Spirit. For this beautiful day, I've been rescued today from my slavery. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My sister, can I stand up for you? Yes, stand up. There's, I want to pray for you, but before that, I want you to go back home. Where's your grandmother? She's late. She, she's late? Yes. I wish she was not late because of what was happening between you two people. Are you hearing me? Yes. There was someone that was always complaining about your character. Huh? I'm hearing Tlaku. Who's Tlaku? It's my surname. It's your surname. Yes. There was someone old that was 
always complaining about your character. So now, I wish you were still alive so that you can go and ask for forgiveness because of what God wants to do now. But look unto God because I'm seeing something good that is coming to you in Jesus' name. Are you ready? Um, my name is Daina Tlaku. Um, the confirmation of the prophecy is true. Though when they prophesied me, I was confused because I don't know my grandmother. But the lady she's talking about, she's my aunt, but she's old. You know, we, she used to complain about everything before I was saved. Yes. And, and how is your character before? Um, it's like I, because she's the one who raised me, I was not listening to her most of the time when she speaks. Sometimes I'll just talk to her anyhow, without any respect. And since well, you, you came to your senses now, and you are remembering that it's your aunt, and the prophet of God gave you an advice that you must go and ask forgiveness, are you willing to do that? Yes, that's what I was thinking exactly, that I, I'm going to ask for forgiveness, yes. And words of encouragement to the young ladies out there? Um, they should trust in God, they should believe in God. To God, everything is possible. Amen. Let's pray for you. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Because of the things that you always dream. Yes, I dream a lot of things. I'm seeing you dreaming a lot of things that sometimes they bring confusion in your spirit. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. So now, this is like sometimes the attacks that Satan is bringing. But many of the things that you dream, they happen. Yes, uh, they happen. So now, pray and God is going to honor you with this thing that God has given you. <laughs> My sister, they say, come to you. My name is Elizabeth Nyamranga. I come from Zimbabwe. I'm originated from Zimbabwe. I've been prophesied about the, um, the dreams which I dream. Normally, they are confusing me. And mostly, and mostly many of them, many of them, they become true. And I confirm it true. And, and also, I've been, con I've been told about the sickness that I have. And I confirm it true. And how is it affecting your life? It's affecting me because many of them, because many of the dreams, I see them and, and, and it becomes hard for me to tell people because I only see it at the end that the things which I have been, which, which, which I have dreamed, it becomes true. So it's affecting me because it's becoming hard to tell people what I dream. And how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling okay. I'm wearing Anita. Anita. Huh? My wife is I'm Anita. Anita. My wife is and, Anita. Uh, listen, I want to pray for you because you've been praying. When you're coming here, you're coming on the issues of the ministry. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You want the anointing. But I'm, I'm hearing something like B O U T R O S. Huh? Mm -hmm. B O U T R O S. OS, Beltro, I don't Beltros. know. Huh? My, it's me, Listen, Beltros. the anointing that you've been crying for, God is giving you today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Butrus, and the prophet uh, say, uh, who, who is, uh, he told me, come, and uh, uh, I, I am listening for Anita. I say I said for him it's my wife and he say I see B O U T R O S I told him my name it's Botros I told me he, you are coming here for anointing and you get it and I get it in Jesus name and at that particular moment when he told you that you're getting your anointing how did you feel in your body I feel power in Jesus name yeah you believe that you're anointed and you're free yeah I believe in anointing and this man, he don't know me. I'm from Lebanon, from uh, from Middle East. I'm not from here. I'm you, I'm seeing in Centurion. You? I work in Centurion. You work in Centurion? Yes. But I'm seeing, there was a phone, I'm seeing a message. Huh? This message is like, it was coming to make you to fight with your husband. 
I don't remember. You don't remember? No. There was a lady, I don't know if it's a Shangan lady. Huh? This Shangan, I'm hearing a phone call. I'm trying to think, but I don't remember. There was a phone call. This lady is like, she wants to take away your husband in the beginning when the marriage was starting. The only one I know about, uh, he comes here comes. to church. I don't know anyone else. The lady that wanted to divide you and your husband. I know there were many ladies, but then I don't know them. Huh? I don't know them. There's one that I know from church. From church. Who tried to take my husband, yes. I don't know the others. I'm repeating it. There's a lady who wants to take your husband. And because what now Satan has done to you has closed your womb now. I'm hearing some funny pains here on the side. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So now this problem must leave you, and this lady must leave your husband in Jesus' name. You're free. My name is Ntabi Seng from Tembisa. I confirm the prophecy to be true because as I sat down, I was trying to remember. I remember there was one lady. She is from here, from church. Um, she came to church two weeks before our marriage. And then by the time she came, she was trying to destroy my marriage. The way she was doing, she was calling my husband anytime she wants, SMSing. Now I remember the issue of SMSing. I think we once SMSed each other because I was, as I was sitting down, I just tried to remember. I don't know if she's strong or what, or baby, I'm not sure. But then she is coming here. That's the lady that I knew about. But another thing I know is that many ladies were trying to pursue my husband. Some were from church, some were from outside. Because the plan was to destroy our marriage. But by the grace of God, they all failed. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling excited because God has located my situation. I'm blessed because my marriage is restored and I believe this marriage will stand till eternity. See, one, two, three, two weeks ago, I'm seeing you with, I don't know, were you with a man? Huh? Two weeks ago. I don't, I don't know, know if it's two, but it's like I'm seeing something like two weeks ago. A church? Huh? No, where you're, where you're staying. Okay. Were you with a man? No. You're never with a man? No. Huh? No. I don't know. I'm seeing you somewhere and I'm seeing a man it's like sitting very close to you. No. And this man was wearing something like a shirt. No. Huh? No. Can I remind you? Yes. Always where you go, you need to be careful. Because there's a spirit that is monitoring you. Are you hearing me? Okay. I'm seeing something like you had the car wash. Yes. I'm, I'm seeing city. Okay. I'm seeing a man that was close to you. Oh, now I remember. I remember. Yes. And he was wearing something like a white t-shirt or powder blue shirt. Yes. Huh? It, was, it was one of the parents that came with a student in my office. It was and one of what? One of the parents that I'm came with I'm seeing a black student. trouser. He was I, with, I don't remember what he was wearing, but it's just that the first time I met him, he was in my office. He brought a student, they had a complaint. So when I went to wash the car, that's when he was also washing his car there. Listen, I want to pray for you. This man, I, I, I believe he wants to help people. That is the plan. Are you hearing me? He wants to do what? He wants to help okay. some people. So, but on the other side, I'm seeing people that are trying to monitor you. Are you okay. hearing me? Your okay. movements. Okay. So you need to be careful about that, and God will really fight for you. And okay. because of whatever that has been happening in the past, yes. I'm seeing a demon that is still following you. Yes. And I'm seeing a demon that is fighting the whole family. Yes. Because now, this, I'm seeing your younger brother yes. that now is starting to misbehave again. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. So, but this demon today is broken. <laughs> My name is Caroline Kwatane, and the prophecy that I received today is true. Why are you saying it's true? Because um, what the man of God said, it happened, and I believe that the man that I met is the one who's going to help the students, because he said that he has employed so many students that did quantity survey, and I believe that it shall come to pass, that prophecy. And how are you feeling right now? 
I feel very happy because most of the students are struggling to get jobs. And uh, I didn't know the man, but because he brought the student to my office that had a challenge with the registration, but I believe that the doors will be open for those students who are looking for employment.